season has had plenty of challenges due to weather extremes. For spring wheat producers, it now means some are dealing with the slow harvest and quality issues. In this week's cover story, Jonathan Knudsen talked with one producer in the northern Red River Valley about his struggles. We're almost in an ironic state now because we were hoping for rain and hoping for rain and hoping for rain and now it's come right as we're trying to get the crop in. It's been a long, frustrating summer for many area wheat farmers. A wet fall further delays the harvest for many. Aaron Shellen farms with his father near Park River, North Dakota. After a dry start this spring, multiple rains have delayed the harvest this fall. And he worries the moisture has hurt the quality of his wheat. It's certainly not the best crop we've ever had, but above average, the thing that we're struggling with is the quality. Falling numbers are a big concern this fall. The term refers to possible sprout damage that reduces wheat quality. That could make the wheat less attractive to millers and bakers and lead to discounts or price reductions. Other years it's been scab or vomitoxin or things like that that are often disease pressure during growing season and, and this year it's a different challenge. But Chellen says he's an optimist and so he's taking a long-term perspective. The important thing is that we don't lose our patience and then make poor choices and have somebody get hurt. Near Park River, this is Jonathan Knudsen for Egg Week. Farmers are waiting for those fields to dry out enough to better assess how the four-day snowstorm impacted their crops. Emily and Ivy gives us a look at how it's expected to impact harvest and their bottom line. North Dakota farmers are no stranger to winter weather, but this year's first snowstorm is causing lots of problems for agriculture across the state. The coming of the snow last week is just like a one, two, three punch to the farmer who struggled getting the crop in, in the spring. We had a wet summer, which is good for production, but the fact that we needed a late fall was helpful. But to throw all this rain and then snow on top of a crop that is trying to dry down for harvest has been very difficult. In order to harvest crops, the ground needs to firm up by drying out or freezing over. Grainer says it's not likely the ground will dry out or freeze over before the next snowfall. With such wet conditions, he says, farmers can't get their equipment in the fields without getting stuck. The snow right now is a problem because first off, not only does it have to melt off, the fields are gonna be very wet and soft and muddy because nothing's frozen underneath. So they can't even harvest it once the snow melts. Grainer says for the farmers that have insurance, they'll likely break even. For those that don't, he says they're going to have the biggest problem in trying to salvage anything they can once the ground freezes. In Bismarck, I'm Emmeline Ivey for your News Leader. Eugene Grainer says sunflowers and corn might see some losses, but they can still be harv harvested into next spring. He says soybeans were likely hit hardest, but on a national level, he doesn't expect it to have much of an impact on the price.